When you divide one integer by another integer, you get a quotient and a remainder. For example, if you divide 13 by 5, you get a quotient of 2 and a remainder of 3. Or you could say, if you divide 13 objects into 5 equal piles, then each pile would have 2 objects and there would be 3 left over. When the remainder is 0, there is a specific word you will hear. Divisor. For example, if you divide 12 by 3, you get a quotient of 4 and no remainder. So we say 3 is a divisor of 12 because 3 divides 12 evenly. To practice, let's find all the divisors of the integer 8. We'll make a list of the divisors over here. 8 divided by 1 equals 8, remainder 0. When the remainder is 0, you don't need to write remainder 0. So 1 is a divisor of 8. Let's add 1 to our list. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So 2 divides 8 evenly, which means it's a divisor. 8 divided by 3 equals 2, remainder 2. So 3 is not a divisor. 8 divided by 4 equals 2, with no remainder. So 4 is a divisor of 8. 8 divided by 5 equals 1, remainder 3. The remainder is not 0, so 5 is not a divisor. 8 divided by 6 equals 1, remainder 2, so 6 is not a divisor. 8 divided by 7 equals 1, remainder 1, so 7 is not a divisor. And 8 divided by 8 equals 1, so 8 is a divisor of itself. What about 8 divided by 9? There is no way to divide 8 into more than 8 piles, so we get 0 with a remainder of 8. In fact, if you divide 8 by any integer greater than 8, you will always get a quotient of 0 and a remainder of 8. So we can stop looking. We found all the divisors of 8. 1, 2, 4, and 8. The divisors are all the different integers that evenly divide a whole number. You use divisors to decide how many people to invite to your pizza party. You know, so there are no leftovers. Am I the only one who does this?